Hello everybody, I am back with some more Fear of Lies. However, I'm not playing the game, I'm going to be explaining the roles and the classes. So, all these are the roles here, but I'm going to go through them one by one. Note, I am not a very good player on this game. Um, I will do my best to explain all the roles. I may split this into two parts. So I may discuss the Blue Dragon and the Unseen first. Then I'll discuss the Cult, Kings and Neutrals in the next video. Um, I think I'm going to do it like that just so it's easier. So you can take the information in. Alright, so, so I'll start off with the, the Butler. So, a butler is the type is offensive. A butler is an offensive class. The butler is an offensive class that belongs to a blue dragon faction. Can prevent others from taking action at night by occupying them. So kind of like escorts. If they suspect the king of being evil, they can poison him with a poisoned wine. But will, will commit suicide if the king was a blue dragon king. Discover and defeat all opposing faction members that wish to cause the blue dragon harm. And their knight's ability, their abilities are, they can poison wine. So, typically poison the king unless they were healed. Knight abilities, they can serve wine. They can serve a player wine occupying them for the night and they will prevent action from being taken. Or, oh, concentrated wine. I think I pronounced that right. For a party occupying everyone that targets me, which is quite cool. Now, if I was to go to Servant, now this is the unseen version of the Butler. So, the Servant is an offensive class that belongs to the unseen, converted from the Butler. Like the Butler, the Servant's role is to occupy important classes of the opposing factions at night. The one condition Convertly defeat all opposing faction members that wish to cause the unseen harm. Now you may notice there is no day abilities. The un they cannot poison the king this time. So that's one way to notice a difference. Because if someone says Butler go poison the king. And they don't do that. Then they know they're the servant. Serve wine. Serve target player wine, occupying them for the night, and they'll prevent them from taking any action, and concentrate the wine, it's pro party occupying everyone that visits me. So it's literally the same, just there's no poison here. The next roll. So, this is the Chronomancer, or Chronomancer, I don't know how you pronounce it. Support, this is from the support class. The Chronomancer is a support class that belongs to the Blue Dragon faction. As ability to delay deaths with the Time Warp ability. Death Warp. Death Blade through Time Warp can attract a small player. And they can delay their own death with the Pocket Dimension ability. Discover and defeat all opposing factions that wish to cause the Blue harm. I think that's literally going to be the same for every faction. Pocket Dimension does not un does not affect unhealable attacks. If you die tonight, delay it for two more nights. Usable day one plus. Time Warp. Del cannot delay unhealable attacks. Delay a player delay player's death for two days, including bleeding. You can delay the same death multiple times. Delayed deaths can be prevented by heals or death immunity. Distort reality. Turn to all deaths, delay the time walk to another target player, which I find completely very OP. Now, time snatcher. Rewind. If you become an assassin and have no charge of two of no charges minus two for one, you'll regain a charge. Don't ask what, what that is. 
Anyway, the Time Snatcher is a support class that belongs to the Unseen, converted from Chronomancer. Can help the Unseen by making bleed effects kill the same player that was bleeding the same night with Time Snatch. Has the ability to hide the Unseen from investigative abilities. Time Snatch. If a player is bleeding, it will kill them tonight. Dark Dimension. Made the Unseen a player do dragon tonight. You, for example, will be disguised as a Chronomancer. Which I think is quite OP, but be quite cool. Court Wizard. Um, so, day abilities. Clear Mind. Intensify will render your target convert immune in addition to its normal effects. Icy Veins. Intensify will render your target death immune in addition to its normal effects tonight. Intensify. Fortify runes on target players, allowing them to bypass both occupation and redirection tonight. Your target will know that to help them. I think that's more of a blue dragon. But hold on. Yeah, that's just blue dragon. I think that's the way to tell between court wizards and this. Wait, what's it called again? Sage. All right. Tornado. Target two players, redirect all targeting either yourself to others. If an occupier slash redirect move to, move to yourself with this, you will be immune. And this is also a support class. Can buff potential allies at night with intensify with additional effects and day abilities. Combine intensify with clear mind to have convert immunity. Combine Intensify with Icy Rain's death immunity. Redirect players with Tornado either offensively or defensively. Sage. Notice again, no day abilities. <laughs> so, Unseen support. The Sage is a support class that belongs to the Unseen, converted from Court Wizard. Can be a powerful asset to the Unseen with the ability to keep players from targeting allies with the Tornado. Can be assist with can assist the assassin by securing the kills with walls of fire which i'll explain in a minute so tornado like caught with a this has tornado target two not two players redirect all targeting either your targets to other to the other if an occupy redirects me to yourself with this you'll be immune to it and wall of fire Occupy everyone targeting your player except the assassin. So, pretty much, I think this basically means you can kill someone and any protective will be roadblocked. I think that's something the, the Blue Dragon would have to look out for because technically the Sage is a very powerful role. Um, anyway, Drunk. Well, it's probably what a lot of people will be getting over this festive season. <laughs> Royal Blood. Gerald Collections for a new keg. Votes for you count twice because Royal Blood. I am the liquor. I mean, to occupy and redirect abilities. This is an offensive class. Debauchery? Sorry, I probably pronounced that wrong. Redirect target players to another. Happy Hour. Can't talk, redirect players to themselves. Can use debauchery ability to protect others from possible negative effects or abilities for any killer class types from killing important allies. Now the alcoholic. Just like before, during royal elections for new king votes for you count twice. I am Malika, again immune to... Wait, is that the same? Yeah, it's the same. Debauchy and happy hour. It's literally the same role. Yeah, there's literally nothing really I can really explain. I just did explain on that talking about drunk. Like debauchy and happy hour, they're literally just the same. Yeah, that's what I can I could say. Hunter. Okay. Retribution. If the court votes to execute you, you will kill the last pl last player who voted against you. 
<laughs> but yeah, that's quite funny. That happens. That's happened quite a few times. Wolf Companion. Cause a player to bleed. They will die in two nights unless saved. Not usable until day three. Night abilities. Hunter Mark. Target four players. If the first player targets the second, you will occupy and attack the first. If you kill a blue dragon, you will kill all charges. Not usable until night three. Bear Companion. Your bear will kill any visitors attempting to attack you tonight. Bypass is death immune. You will be immune to death and conversion tonight. So the hunter is a unique killer class that belongs to the blue dragon. Strong faction members of the blue dragon being able to bleed someone you know is an evil or kill anyone attempting to attack you at night. Discover and defeat all opposing faction members that wish to cause the blue dragon harm. Then you got Poacher. No passives, no day abilities. Spike traps. Place traps outside anyone outside target player's room. Occupy that player and anyone else targeting them. Snare trap. Place a snare trap outside a target player's room. If they leave their room, they will be occupied for two times. <laughs> oh, wow. That is incredibly OP. I've not played Poacher ever. So, I'd love to see that. The poacher is an offensive class that belongs to the Unseen, converted from Hunter. It seals that preventing important blue dragon classes from using their abilities. Now, here's what you know is, the Hunter is a killer. Poacher is an offensive. Because this is more role blocking. The poacher is more of a role block than the... So, yeah. And you may know this, they are unique. There can never be more than one hunter in the game. And Poacher, the same. Um, night, yeah, sorry. Um, wait, is this? Oh, no, okay. So the night, again, there's a killer. But that is a killer class that belongs to the Blue Dragon faction. Vital for Blue Dragon protect protecting confirmed allies. Can attempt to kill players that suspected of being evil. No day abilities, which is, I think is no, it's the same. Ow. Armored. Your armor will protect you from the first attacker blocked by defend. Night abilities defend. Bypass death immunity. Death target player trading your life to kill their attackers. You and anyone who you kill will be unhealable. Cold steel. Cancels the sword in redirect you. Attack target player. If you harm an ally, you will take your own life. Unhealable. Not usable until die free. So this is kind of like vigilante in a way. In town of Salem. Anyway, moving on to enforcer. So difference, this is a support class. Protection. Stand guard occupying everyone targeting an unseen faction member. Frenzy. Guarantees the assassin will kill their target, bypasses all forms of protection. I believe that's probably everything minus the, ne the neutral killing. But I'll explain them later on not in my next video. But yeah, that's really all Enforcer is. Um, Maid. Um, no day ability. Matchmake. Starts with a random player. Test if a target is compatible with the last check player. See tips for tab for combos. BD, D, BD, BD, BD plus evil, call to routine. BD slash cell, BD to cell sword, BD plus alchemist for missionary inquisitor, evil to evil. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of confusing. Um, oh, while I'm on it, I want to show you something. Chronomancer. This is literally their room. So they all sit here. It is actually probably the prettiest room I've seen in this game. Because everyone has their own unique room. Like, obviously, if you're an illusionist, you're in this room. 
Yeah, it's still, it's still the same room. Anyway, uh, maid. What's the maid room? Ah, pretty much that. Alright. So, um, nosy servants. Discover if a living player has visited a dead player on when I may died. And hand maiden analyze test two players if they are the same class type how to discover their classes see that doesn't really matter minus neutrals obviously uh, I guess it kind of like matters prying servants discover who visited their player on the night they died uh, this is kind of the weakest role I think for the unseen because I've never played maid. Um, Mystic. Now this is a very, very good roll. Busy mind. Passive. Kept. Kept on class change. And moved to occupy redirect. Link mind. Allows you to talk with another player tonight. Fails if the player is root by reaper. Well, yeah. That's kind of uh, obvious. So, conduit. Conduit? Conduit? Uh, allow two players to speak to each other tonight. You will be able to hear them. Fails if the player is read by a Reaper. This is a social class. Again, social. Busy mind. Day abilities, sinister echoes, make code of conduct apply, yes. Make it look like the target players say something, they will not see the, the message. So basically, I can make someone uh, basically appear to say something that they didn't say. Now, they did have that with Mystic last time I played, but I'm guessing they removed it. Private matter. The public will be completely unaware of whispers to you and to y you, me and someone for the rest of the day. Mind warp. T target player will receive framed results from investigative abilities tonight. Oh god. Begin to melt a check player's break completely erasing their chat history. <laughs> oh my god, I would love to get an illusionist is such a great role. Honestly, I this is one from one of my favourite roles. Um, what else? So, it would be nice if they were like right next to each other, you know, but oh well. Noble is another social support and royal blood again. Political pressure. Force target player A to accuse. So, player A to accuse target player B and prevent target A from ever for any further voting. Ah, oh, it's the same, that's the same thing. Okay. Gossip. Receive feedback of abilities used on target plane tonight with their restrictions. No conversion, attack, king, debushi, self targeted instant evil confirming other gossip abilities. Jeez. Course by. Summon shadows to report content of all whispers tomorrow. Honestly, that seems like a very good ability. Area crap. Area, yeah, air, air aristocrat. Sorry. If I'm saying any reason wrong, it was wrong, I do apologize. Um, social. So, again, royal blood. It'll still keep this royal blood passive. The aristocrat is a social class that belongs to the unseen, converted from noble, has the power to manipulate voting in the court, has diabilities to allow spying. So, Intrigue. Frame a player that received feedback on abilities used on level restrictions. Uh, so it's kind of the same. It's not really March. Your voting power was allowed the Utsi to achieve a voting majority quicker, so it's best to save them until you reach this point. Yeah, I agree with that.
That is a very good idea. Observer. So this is sort of like lookout and tracker mixed into one. The observer is an investigative class that belongs to the blue dragon. Potentially one of the most powerful investigative classes can target can discover who visits targets or who discovers them. Observe and now look. So discover who visits targets. Discover who visits who visits target player. So yeah, basically look out and track how many into one. Night watch, follow. Follow target player, discover who to visit. And then this, discover a player's class. So not much different than the most investigative. Um, tips, during the day you should act so as if you were still an observer and try not to draw attention to yourself. If you have believed you've found a neutral killer, then you should want to wait before a little. You should, then you may want to wait for out of them. Letting them live can draw some of the blue dragon's focus away from your team. Yeah, that's a good tip. Well, I agree with that. Now, Paladin. This is only for cult games. So I'm not going to discuss Paladin yet. And we'll discuss that in the next vi in the next video. So, physician. The physician is a support class that belongs to the Blue Dragon faction. Can save members of the Blue Dragon with their heal ability. Has the ability to heal themselves with their self care ability. Remedy studies passive caps on change immune to bleeding. Exhume. Discover what classes kill target player or if they commit suicide at the end of the night. In Colloquy? In Colloquate? Make a player permanently immune to bleeding. They will not be notified if you targeted them. They will keep this passive even if their class changes. Heal. Use your staff to heal. Target player preventing their death or curing any bleeding. Self care. If you're attacked tonight, you'll heal yourself. You only get that ability twice. Now, this is actually offensive. So, remedy studies and to bleeding. Exhume, discover what classes killed their target player. So, defile. If, target, if the player dies, then they will appear as chosen class. Which is very, very nice. I like that part. Drug. Cause the player to falsely believe they were attacked and healed. <laughs> That's kind of funny. That's the herbalist as well. Prince. Now you may notice there is no coven version because you, this drug can't be converted. <sighs> so... During elections for a new king, votes for you count twice. Yeah, it's probably not best as prince to go try and sign up to be the king. Occupy a mean conversion to be and unique. Choose a player to imprison tonight, preventing other players from visiting your prisoner. At night, you may interrogate the via chat, only use jail time, can only jail the same player three times. Which is very nice. I like that. Execute. Execute the jail player. If they are blue dragon, lose all charges of execute. Not usable until night three. Princess. Royal blood, passive. Investigative class, the blood's the blue dragon. Can use flirt ability to limit a player's discussion. The will of whisper ability. Class it down to two. So, flirt. Limit a player's class type down to two options. I'll click tips in a minute. And will it worth discover if a target player attacks anyone tonight? So tip. Flirt cheat sheet. To so kill it offensive. Special investigative. Support. Framed. Killer offensive becomes special investigative. Framed. Special investigative and support slash social becomes killer offensive. Huh? 
Anna and Duchess chaps. Well, I'm probably going to go for the abilities first. Obviously, you just don't keep the Royal Blood Flash passive, but I just. And trans target player with your eyes into revealing their class type. Dark Wisp. In case of Dark Wisp, we can see the player's blue dragon. Some tips. Usual bat eyelashes ability to keep your assassin decide who they should be pri prioritizing for their attacks. Always keep the unseen informed of your investigator findings for your allies to better choose their targets. Um, yeah, that's pretty much. Ooh, bless me. Um, and then the final one, Sheriff. Now, I can talk about this because this is these. This will not go up in a court game. The Sheriff is only for court games only. I mean, unseen games only, sorry. The Sheriff is an investigative class that belongs to the Blue Dragon. One spawns when the unseen are present. Can only spawn in unseen games and excels in finding them. So, yeah. They... You'll not see a sheriff in one of these games. Can use abilities to find enemies and keep an eye on the player likely to be converted. Defeat the unseen and any neutrals that seek to do you harm. So scout. You'll be alerted if you unseen visit target player. The scout will stay on the player until you command them towards someone else. Expert investigation. Determine if a player is a member of the unseen faction. Surveillance. If a target player is a member of the Unseen Faction, you will discover their, their class. Um, tips. So, keep track of suspicious players, so you have an idea who to investigate at night. That is a good tip. Keep, you have to watch. That's all you can do. The Unseen needs to see needs the Mastermind to convert players. This means if you can find a Mastermind, your odds of winning are much higher. However, we got to Marshall. Exposed. Reveal who the prince imprisons tonight to your faction. Which is quite OP because it means you have to go target that player. Probe. Determine a player's class if they are part of the blue dragon. Snoop. Examine a player's logbook. So I can go snoop for someone's logbook who I probably shouldn't be looking at, but yeah. And some tips. Communicate with the mastermind to ensure they aren't. They aren't going to claim sheriff. Two unseen members claim sheriff will like resolve both players dying. Yes, I agree with that tip. Use your probability to help this your session figure out who they should be prioritizing. Always keep the unseen informed of your findings. Yeah, these they are some really good tips. Anyway. I believe I'm going to call the video there. I, half an hour, jeez. <laughs> um, I will... I'll record the Cult King recording straight away after this, but I'm going to make it into two videos, so I'm not just spending an hour start speaking. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching this, and I hope any tips I've helped, any tips in this video help is helpful and i'll leave a link to the wiki in the description of this video but yeah thank you so much till next time peace